well. Otherwise, I start talking. We are in the truck of the year 2025, which is the Electra 600. And of course, I think they chose the right one. <laughs> 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 no, um, just joking. But this is, I think, the first truck with which um, long haul transportation with an EV is possible. Because we are the the masters in range we have more than 500 kilometers of range in fact i tried yesterday i tried with the colleagues from you from truckstar we went uh, to the ardennes to the highest point in the ardennes which is uh, barak la friture yeah and we went from Aston, and uh, you know the total distance was uh, around 400 kilometers and we ran on 44 tons and in the end we had again we had uh, 150 kilometers of range left whoa so um, if you drive the e across 600 the limiting factor is no longer the range the limiting factor is the driving hours of the driver yes. because every four and a half hours he needs to have a break and that's just what i presented in germany i did a, a day trip i, I started in uh, in our r d center which is close to Karlsruhe, Stuttgart, perhaps, you know. Yeah. Uh, went up to Cologne, just did an uncharging of the trailer or something. I simulated it. We had all the time, we had uh, um, 40 tons total weight. And then I plugged it in on the charging point and I said, okay, only 45 minutes, which is the normal break. Yes. And our boss doesn't want, us, doesn't want to pay us for standing around waiting. Yeah. So 40, 45 minutes later, we had 78% uh, of SOC again. Yeah. We went back home. I had total driving hours of um, eight and a half. Yeah. And there were 230 kilometers of range left. Wow. And well, that's just the proof. Beautiful. And well, on this uh, test lab we did yesterday, yeah. In the end, oh no, I, I I don't tell that because I'm spoiling the the report on Truckstar. I don't want to do that. But I can tell you, we've been on a test tour, and in fact, that was the the longest test drive in the history of Mercedes-Benz trucks. We had two of these trucks on a test tour around Europe, from yes. North Cape to Gibraltar, around fifteen thousand kilometers, and in the average, uh, we had a consumption consumption in brackets uh, we had a consumption of 103 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers wow. 40 tons and you know if you compare the energy the energy contained in diesel with electric energy this is just the energy that you find in less than 10 liters of diesel yes and yes there are still challenges there are challenges concerning infrastructure no doubt about that but the technology offers us a benefit of 50% energy. And I think it would be quite stupid not to jump to this, to this uh, uh, technology. Absolutely. And 25% on this test lab, 25% of the energy that we needed for propulsion, we actually got from re recuperation. Because your, the region is controllable by stick it's controllable by stick of course but normally uh, on, on on the highway we drive on our PPC which means predictive powertrain control mm. and pre predictive powertrain control does it all on, on itself so it takes the topography into consideration mm. the weight the gear shifting and everything wow. You see, now I'm recuperating. Yeah. I could also leave the lever down here yeah. and drive in one pedal mode. Uh -huh. So I do not, actually, I don't need the brake pedal anymore. Yeah. It's just releasing the accelerator pedal and you get into the, in the, the, the range where the, the truck will slow down by recuperation, of course. Yes. And that's just good. For example, you have very dense traffic here in the, in the Netherlands. Yeah. And if you're in a stop and go, I love to uh, to have the one pedal drive because I know then I'm on my way very economically. Yes. And in fact, 
then the speed and the torque this is is all better than uh, uh, in, a, in a diesel truck of course we have here a, a peak power of uh, 600 kilowatts which is which is just about uh, 816 horsepower <laughs> you don't need more and and you need you need to regulate this because if you would give all that power to the driver you'd buy them new uh, new tires every three months and well <laughs> tires are tires are part of as we say total cost of yes, ownership clearly and race trucks are race trucks nice toys but these are reasonable trucks mm -hmm. that we need for road tra transportation <laughs> yes. and they should be good in tco exactly now where's the where's the camera guy ah here he says you just stay in 